हेलो एवरीवन आई डॉक्टर संजीव यादव असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एट गवर्नमेंट वुमेन इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज अजमेर टुडे आई एम विद अ न्यू लेक्चर ऑन ओवरव्यू ऑफ मेम्स बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर वी कम थ्रू द डिस्क्लेमर दिस पी पी टीज यूज फॉर टीचिंग पर्पज एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द मेटेरियल हैज बिन टेकन फ्रॉम द इंटरनेट इंक्लूडिंग पिक्चर्स the author does not claim any copyright for this material and no legal action is authorized for the same now coming back to the lecture mems mems stand for micro electro mechanical systems it means that it is a combination of electronics and mechanical systems which is in a very small size means that's why the micro is there now mems it is what is mems it is a technology that combines computer with tiny mechanical devices such as sensors walls gears mirrors actuators embedded in a single semiconductor chip that we can see in the figure that mems mems is a combination of micro sensors micro actuators micro structures micro electronics and the complete system is known as the mems now we can see that the nano fabrication that electrochemical sensors gas sensors bio sensor scanning probe microscope net, uh, nano uh, generator nano patterning these all are the small small applications where we are going to use these mems here these are some of the examples means we, here mems devices we can see that very small accelerometer is there dlp matrix is there we can see the size that's why it is micro pressure sensors all this is in a by nano scale as we can say how much size is come in compare to a coin here as compare to a coin here as compare means these are this one as well as here we can see that the internal part is like this and it comes from here now why what is the requirement of mems technology why this mems technology has been developed mems is a spin off technology it is derived from the micro electronics industry here the researchers investigated to create micro mechanical devices using micro electronics fabrication method means the mechanical devices here we are going to develop by using electronic fabrication methods which we are using for the micro nano scale here the motivation was different different for different persons here the nathanson he thought for the better transistor performance second scientist peterson he got some sort of compact pressure sensors and that could be inexpensively fabricated so it can be used as various nano applications or micro applications in other cases the motivation was it was just to prove micro devices could be made means the scientists thought of producing very small devices now we can see that initially we are having the big phones mobile phones then a small small and smaller smallest as well as that we according to the moore's law we are just including number of transistors in a very small chip the size of mems how we can see that the here is a wavelength how they up to here up to the visible light that is nanotechnology after the visible light up to 1 mm that is the most of the mems are included is in this part only now how mems are manufactured mems are fabricated with a unique set of technologies collectively referred as micro fabrication and micro machining this is part from the electronic overview and this is micro machining comes from the mechanical overview these methods are quite different from macro scale techniques due to their small size standard machine tools cannot be used to machine mems features micro machining technology is closely related to ic fabrication with some differences are there there are two main areas of micro machining number one is surface micro machining second is bulk micro machining in surface micro machining it is based on the successive deposition and etching of thin films of material such as silicon nitride polysilicon silicon oxide and gold in bulk micro machining it is based on etching and bonding of 
thick sheets of material such as silicon oxides and crystalline silicon now what are the requirements of de designing of mens here we need the process development design kit setup modeling from top to down simulation of the design model design then failure analysis design again bottom to top drawing layout using cad cam programming scripting interfacing then testing and measurement and documentation these are the mems designing requirement and this is the design process as in the last slide i told you about the system designing then simulation verification architectural design cell design cell layout system layout in each and every step we require a simulation as well as verification for this after the fabrication testing if there is some error there then we need to follow back and this cycle goes up to when we get a final product as we need now development of mems is not an easy process it takes between 4 and 10 years a lot of products product ideas will never produce as it is a very long cycle so lot of products are just end up at middle stage no sufficient tool provide support available because we are going to develop different different materials different different uh, nano devices or micro devices so no specific tool is there traditional design methods take long time and cost incentive incent intensive new methods and tools are necessary there is one step forward that finite element method is one of the tool that can effectively used for it. and about the finite element method we will discuss in the next lecture finite element method for mems these are the some of the mems applications there are so many applications of the mems now communication rf mems is there optical switches are there in field of communication in medicines cell sorting and capture implantable sensors internal imaging systems drug delivery systems in automotive industry tire pressure sensors sub system sensors in entertainment industry game console sensors tactile displays speakers all these are the applications as we can see in these figures there is this type of switches we are using in the mems next figure we can see that the this is the fabricated device this is a mems in a circuit board only mem size is this one we can just imagine how small it is thank you we'll meet in next lecture with a finite element method for mems designing okay thank you